Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira and today we are playing Assassin's Creed number two. We find ourselves in the wonderful, beautiful city of Venezia. And we are in the Carnivale. As you can see by our wonderful mask given to us by Leonardo da Vinci. Which this wonderful mask keeps us incognito for the duration of the carnival. So, today, what are we doing today? Well, we, we must see Leonardo at some point. But, I think today's objectives. We are going to start by at least getting these two viewpoints here. And then we are probably going to make ourselves make our way up to up to this viewpoint come on up to this viewpoint and this final viewpoint here and i think that will round off this area of venezia uh there are going to be a couple more over here in the port district and i think up here i can't remember what's up here but we will get our couple viewpoints and then we will make our way to this memory and start. So, the last time that we were together, we went through and got the armor of Altair. This wonderful armor that I'm wearing right now. The best armor in the game. And also, probably the best looking armor in the game. Look at this stuff. Absolutely amazing. And at the same time, it never requires any um, repairs. Because Altair was amazing. No, I don't care about the Carnivale performers. The other thing we have done in our recent videos is we explored the Alta, uh, the Auditor family crypt. We learned how the Auditor got their name and the strife that they have gone through to come to Italy to save the region from the evil grasp of the Knights Templar. Uh... No, c come on, Ezio. Don't do this. There you go. <laughs> Don't play this game with me. I know you can climb up there. Oh, boy. So, we went to the crypt of the Auditor family, and we learned all about our history. We learned, specifically, that the Auditor are not the rich. The Auditor are the people. So we speak truly for the people, not like all these other nobles that toy with the people like playthings. Ah ha ha! I was looking for a fast travel location down there, down here, and it was, it was right here. We were right here at the end of the video, the previous video, where we got Altair's armor. And I didn't know there was a viewpoint, uh, a fast travel location, so we ran all the way up to this one. That sucks. But that's okay. We've got a couple more viewpoints to hit. And then we shall go and check out what this Carnivale mission involves. Now, I believe the whole reason we have come to the Carnivale here is to get a prize which will allow us to enter the, the palace of the Doge and save or assassinate somebody. Wow, this is really loud. Go away, bard. I don't have time for you. We have some guards, some Borgia guards. Does that mean there is... Oh, they're not Borgia guards. They're just guards. Okay, I don't 
really want to bother them right now. I don't care about a little bit of treasure. We've got Altair's armor, so... And we've got his sword, also. So there's really... I don't think too much else we need money for. So we're just kind of... You know, gonna let things pile up and whatever. Get rid of that guard. And then we have a little bit further to go until we hit our viewpoint. Let's just kind of run around here like this. And jump onto here. And we have made it up to the next viewpoint. come from that one over there, I think. No. No, it wasn't that one. It was it was the church off in the distance. Where is it? Here it is. Hmm. Interesting. What is this place? Is this just, just random buildings? Are we ever going to make our way over here? Let's see what's on the map. Hmm. So it does not appear that there is anything special over here. Unless it's just part of the whole Carnivale section. Okay. So we can jump down. Alright. And we have one more viewpoint to find. Just a little bit further to go. What? Go away, Bard. I don't have time for you. What are we doing? We're going over here. The Santa Maria de Carmini. Carmini? Something. Uh, we should probably go through and check our database, too, because I don't think I have in the last couple episodes. Hmm. So let's do that. Let's hit the viewpoint. Boy, there are so many objectives that we have in this video. So much fun for us to have. Okay, so the map for this area is filled out now. We have, we can see everything we need. Let's make our way over to here. And then once there, we will take just a moment to review our database. Just a moment, not not too long, because I've already made you watch me <laughs> go through and get viewpoints, and I realize that's not the most fun that anyone can have. Kind of boring, but you know. Oops, where's that guard? I saw him. There he is. Okay, so that guard's down. That's fine. Uh, we need to we need to jump across right here. No. Okay. I guess we'll we'll do that because yeah we can, and Altair's now got broken kneecaps and fingers and everything, and this puts us right outside of the La Rosa de la Virtue. <laughs> Oops. Okay. First, we're gonna stop by our map. We will remove the little um, marker, and now we will go to our recent entries here. Okay, so the Palazzo Ducale. We read that, we read that, and we saw Carlo Grimaldi. Hmm. So, did we do Carlo Grimaldi? I'm pretty sure we did. Carlo we... Grimaldi. Emerging from his palace in Monaco with a craving for political power, Carlo... Yes, we definitely have watched that. Okay, so we will start here with the Dorosaduro District. Dorosaduro District, a favorite area for artists. Dorosaduro was Viense's festival center. It contained the Squero di San... Trovaso, where gondolas are constructed, and the Church of Santa Maria della Visa, Visitazione. Visitazione? I hope I, I'm hope, I hope I'm not 
butchering these names too much. Now we have Marco Barbario and Dante. Marco Barbarigo. Although his brother Agostino was destined for greatness, Marco left his mark on Venetian history as well. A tyrant since he was barely old enough to walk, whatever Marco wanted, he got. There are records here for jewels, entire fleets of ships, all paid for by his family and all ordered directly from him. And then there's his personal life. Apparently, Marco's wife, Carlotta, used to be married to his bodyguard, Dante Moro. Dante was captain of the city guard, an heir to one of the most prestigious families in Venezia. Marco was supposedly his close friend, right? But get this, Marco decides he wants Carlotta. In the Catholic religion, marriage is till death do us part, and Marco's a good Catholic. So, he hires a hit on Dante. Dante gets stabbed three times in the body, and once in the head. But he doesn't die. He recovers with severe brain damage. Dante becomes like a child. So, what does Marco do? Well, he hires Dante as his personal bodyguard, and he gets him to sign a confession annulling the marriage. Marco takes Carlotta and keeps Dante as his personal slave. What a lovely fella. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. And now we are going to have to end Dante because he's in the wrong place at the wrong time. That is... that's awful. Let's check out the Carnavale performers. The world's famous Carnavale of Venice began in 1296 as a public holiday on the day before Lent. It soon became a time for masquerades, parties, theatrical performances, parades, street dances, egg throwing, flirtation, and general hijinks. Like, you know killing animals in public to amuse the crowd, or rolling pigs in carts down the hill and into the river. What? <laughs> okay. All in all, Carnavale was important pre an important predecessor along the roads to reality TV. Hmm. Okay. So we have the Santa Maria della Vis Visazones. Located on the waterfront, Santa Maria della Visitazones is the second church in Venice with that same name, making it easy to end up at the wrong wedding. The church was founded in the 1400s and dedicated to St. Jerome, the patron saint of librarians and encyclopedia writers, but then was re redirected to the Virgin's visit with Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, perhaps because visits are usually accompanied by food and are quite simply more fun. Hmm. Okay. So what do we have here? The Squero di San Travasso. This small square is usually a boatyard to build and repair gondolas. The chief means of transportation within Venice. Gondolas are a fashioned. Uh, gondolas are fashioned out of eight different kinds of wood: mahogany, cherry, fir, walnut, oak, elm, lark, and lime, and are made of 280 pieces. The left side of the boat is longer than the right side, allowing the gondolier to pilot the gondola from the left without it changing direction. That is genius and ensuring that intoxicated gondoliers don't accidentally hit their passengers in the face with the oar while switching sides. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. That that would be that would suck. So what do we have next? We have the Santa Maria del Crimini. Built in the 1300s, the Santa Maria del Crimini Cara Mini, for short, was founded by a group of women who made their livelihood stitching mosaic aprons for the monks in a near, in the nearby Carmelite monastery. Carmelites believed so much in these aprons or scapulars that the Carmelite constitution stated it was a serious fault to sleep without one, and saying mass sans scapular resulted in automatic excommunication. Why? 
because in 1251 the Virgin Mary made herself known to Simon Stock of Cambridge, and she told him that those who wore a brown scapula would be granted salvation. So 200 years later, a group of women still huddled inside Santa Maria del Crimene, working all their lives to manufacture salvation distilled in the form of brown aprons. Okay. So last but not least is La Rosa de la Virtu. Located at the crossroads where sex and religion collide, La Rosa de la Virtu, the Rose of Virtue, was run entirely by former nuns. The Pope repeatedly attempted to force the Venetian Council to shut down the brothel, but it remained open until a fire in 1516 consumed it. Although the church tried to claim divine intervention, jurists were f found the fire to have been set by a disgruntled bishop who wanted to lie with one of the girls for free. Act of God, indeed. Okay. So, now we can go into this brothel, and we are, we are looking for someone. I can't remember her name. But she is a relative to one of our former members of the cause. So let's let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora! Meet the most, uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Teodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. <coughs> Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Okay, chase down and kill the murderer. Oh no. Okay, let's go. We got this. Uh-oh. Kill the murderer. Where are we going? We're going the wrong way. Why are we going the wrong way already, Ezio? Come on. Don't come any closer, or I will carve up another one. Okay. Don't make me so, again. Uh, how do we... We need to change to our gun. Alright, and we can... We can shoot him. Just like that. Are you okay? He's just gonna disappear and she's gonna walk off like nothing happened. Okay. And I guess that's it. That was easy. Let's go back. Why are you knocking, Ezio? You have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble follows? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to read Venice of Marco Barbarico. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except... For tonight, Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. Win a mask. We must speak with Theodora about Marco Barbarigo. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> well, whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith, what I choose to do with my body, these are my choices to make. Like many young women, 
I was drawn to the church, but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized, so I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so where are we going? Signore, signore, come on, come all. The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. Hmm. So, we will find our way into the Doge's personal ball by competing in these games. What are you doing? Hey. Guards! Gotcha. Please don't kill me, Signore. I'll give you all I have. I just want your money. It's fine. You're free to go. So what are we doing here? I need to check. What do I have in my inventory? Okay. Who's next? Step right up. Try for the best time. Can you beat your neighbors? Who shall win the prize? What is this? Welcome, Benvenuti. Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the Golden Mask. Beat the course record. So, we must finish the race and beat the speed record set by the last contestant. Alright. Free running challenges. I love them. They suck. I'm bad at them. But let's go. We got this. Go. Whoa. That's right, Ezio. Run right up into the air. You can do it. 12 of 6... 2 of 16. 3 of 16. Okay. What's next? Ah, so now we climb up. And they epically blow fire around us. <laughs> Alright. We're almost there. Oh, run, Ezio. Run. There we go. Where, uh, how do I get over there? Let's go like this get up there come on jump across please Ezio oh go all right we got this one boom oh there's treasure I want the treasure but I don't have time for the treasure all right so we we must run across right here one minute we're halfway there. We got this. Come on, Ezio. You can do it. Climb, Ezio. Climb. Okay, and we can jump across here. 45 seconds to go. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. That's fine. Into the water. 35. 12. 13. So... We have 13. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 14. There's 15. And 16's got to be on that boat. And finish. The winner! You've proven your 
yourself the fastest and strongest in Venezia. You are now one step closer to the grand prize. Hmm. One step closer to the grand prize. Yes, how wonderful. Push people out of the way. Get out of the way. Stop dancing. What is going on over here? Signori, signori! This may be the easiest challenge yet, or the hardest. A game of charisma and charm. Step right up, step right up! Who shall win the prize? What Welcome. do we need to do? Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies? Here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. Oh, okay. <coughs> so we must obtain more ribbons than the competition from the ladies of Carnivale. How do we get these ribbons? Do we just kind of walk into them? Am I am I going to be pickpocketing? Pick pickpocketing? Yeah, I am. Okay. So I just kind of pickpocket people. I need 25 ribbons. Get down, Ezio, please. Thank you. Go over here. Alright, there we are. Yes. Alright. So here are the next group of ladies. There we are. A small bundle of ribbons. Don't you walk away from me. Come back here. Ah, so I don't get any more if I keep pickpocketing them. So it looks like it's best to just grab their bunch of ribbons like this, and then move on. Uh-oh. 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 I have made friends with some guards. Uh. Come on. Run away, Ezio. You can do it. There we are. I'm out of the out of their area. That's fine. I'll just kind of swim around underwater. Okay. So. <laughs> there we are. This has, uh... This has, uh, kind of made things weird. But that's okay. We can get some more ribbons. Ah, and we have another group of ribbons right here. Hello, guys. Oh, yes. And we have all the ribbons we need. How wonderful. We have a winner! You have more ribbons than any man here. You've proved yourself a favorite of the ladies, and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time! All right. Ribbon Roundup. We have wrangled ourselves some ladies and gotten their ribbons, and... Now we have to go over here somewhere. Where are we going? Peasants, get down! He's here! Let go of me! Go away. I am doing nothing. Shh. Shh. It's okay. Alright. Uh, get out. Oh, Ezio. Oh, that was close. That was close. Okay, so we must continue going over in this direction. We have one more cha- no, we have two more challenges, but apparently only one of them is on the map right now. Right there. <laughs> Ah, what is going on? Step right up! Come on, come on! It's time for a game of skill and agility. Who can capture the flag? Who shall win the prize? Ah, so a game of capture the welcome, flag. Welcome! The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field, and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours. 
first to capture the flag three times. Defeat your competition in a game of capture the flag. Okay, so this one might be a little difficult. Let's let's go for it. Game start. Uh oh, what's the red? The red must be my opponent. I'm just gonna jump off. Bam! All right, there we are. Perfect. And I'm gonna climb up the building. My opponent is right below me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> he is lost. He has no idea what's going on. So here's one. Get ready for the next round. Retrieve the flag. Go, Ezio, go. We're going to do exactly the same thing because that worked awesome. We're just going to jump off the building. Off we go. Perfect, Ezio. Perfect. How wonderful. I hope your legs are okay. Oop, get over there. Climb up the building. Oh, there's a ladder right there. That's wonderful. So next time, we're just going to use that ladder to get back up onto the building. Because it's going to be a lot faster than climbing the building. And our opponent... Uh-oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> there we go. Get ready for the next round. And go, Ezio! Go, go, go! So we kind of come around here and jump and get ready to jump off and boom! Jump, Ezio! Go! Opponent has the flag! Oh no, you don't! Come back here! Oh, he's an agile guard! Oh, what is this? What is this? Come back here! He is faster than me! That's not even fair! That's not even fair. Where are you going? Come back here. Oh. I think he's got this. I don't even think I can catch up to him. Where is he? Oh, he's climbing up. Oh, Ezio. No. Desynchronization imminent. No, it's not. Alright, well, he got the flag. So, that's fine. Retrieve the flag. Go, Ezio. Go, go, go. Oh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Go, jump. And... Oh! Where is he? Where is he? I need to get him. So, alright. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to use throwing knives. Ah! Oh! <laughs> no! No! I don't even have a chance anymore. Alright. He's climbing up. Maybe, maybe if he has to come this way, I can... No, I'm too far down. I don't think I, I have a chance here. Oh, he slowed down. Oh, come on, get him, Ezio, get him. No! Okay. Two out of three. Round three. Get ready. Go, Ezio, go. Oh no, you're going in the wrong direction. What is this, Ezio? Get down there. Alright. Get ready. We've got knives still equipped. And... Take that! Oh! <laughs> okay. So I'm going to jump off the building first. Because... Oh no! Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to make it to the flag first. Boom. We've got the flag. We can climb the building. And we must return to our base quickly before that guard has a chance to catch up to us. Because if he catches us, then uh, I think he just has to like tackle us to take the flag or something. Oop, oop, oop. Return to our base. We have made it! Yes! Okay. <laughs> we have a winner! You've protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear and inch ever closer to victory! And or I just kind of kill everyone else in my way. You know. Okay. So that was kind of taxing on our medicine. So let's 
stop by the doctor. Let's stop. Let's stop by the doctor and let's fill our medicine back up. There we are. I don't think I need any poison. No. I don't use poison. Hmm. So we are going to brawl. We're gonna fight. The game is simple. There's only one rule, no weapons. Fight until you are the last man left standing. Will it be you or two? Hmm. Who will win the golden mask? I will win the golden mask. We must defeat every opponent. All right. We got this. Oh, why are they all... Why are they guards? Shouldn't I be fighting random people? Oh, hello. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, boy. Hey, this armor isn't really fair, huh? You don't care, do you? You're just gonna, you know, kind of... Play, play dirty and expect me not to win. It's okay. Take that, Ezio. Looks like this one thinks himself some kind of campeon. Go on, Dante. Show him how sadly mistaken he is. I am the champion. Come on, Dante. Let's go. I will beat you up, Dante. I got you. Well, that was easy. Is there nobody else to challenge our man in the ring? Do we have a winner? Oh, what was that? Ah, we have combatants. I, I thought the rule was no weapons. So that's how it's going to be, eh? Oh, yeah? That's how it's going to be. Let's go. Let's go. Little bit of blood never hurt anybody. He'll be fine in the morning. He'll sleep it off. Come on, stop dodging. <laughs> Take that. Oh, come on. Fight me like a man. Your turn. Oh, you got a hit on me. Impressive. But not impressive enough. Signora e signori, the games of Carnevale have come to a glorious conclusion. Come see our winner claim his golden mask. Our winner has proven himself the fleetest of foot. The strongest of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won lealmente, the winner of the Golden Mask is... <laughs> the winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Moro. What? What? No. He cheats. We'll see you this evening. Why are they cheating? Where is Dante? He's done. Foul Templars. Get out of my way, people. I need to go talk to Antonio or Sister Tamora. I need to figure out what's going on here. I'm sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotting Kulo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. 
They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that. Hmm. Okay, so we must steal the golden mask from Dante Moro and enter the party and assassinate Marco Barbarico. Where is Dante? All right. Where are we going? Where are we going? So this will be this will be the right direction. All right, let's see here. So there's some guards over there. Let's okay. hire them just in case, because we will need them. All right, now we can head over in this direction. Where are you, Dante? Aha. Uh -huh. So. Watch this. Boom. Just like that. Okay, so now... Uh-oh. 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 Okay. So we're good. We've got the golden mask. And now... <laughs> we are going to crash the Doge's party. Do I have the mask on? No, I do not have the mask on, but that's okay. Oh, right here. All right, everybody, this is a fairly long video already. So I am going to end the video right here and leave this episode on a cliffhanger. And next time when we come back, we will crash this party. And we will end Marco Barbarico. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira. This is the Nocturnal Gaming Network bringing you Assassin's Creed number two. <laughs> and have a wonderful night.